Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're talking about open houses. Today I'm opening my house to you to talk about open houses. You see what I'm doing here? I open my house to you to talk about open houses. You see? To learn more about open houses, keep on watching. What's an open house? An open house is a designated time where a particular real estate property, a house, is for sale and it's open for viewing to the public and any potential buyers. So it's a time for um, for buyers or anybody curious about a property to just freely walk in when, without scheduling an appointment. As an agent, I personally do quite a few open houses and um, there are a few open houses etiquette that I think um, people should observe to get the most out of open houses. Open houses are generally hosted by seller's listing agents or uh, the sellers themselves in the case of a, a for sale by owner. How do they happen? The listing agent or the owner will schedule a day and time for the open house to, to happen and they will market it on every major website like Zillow and, and all the other web websites that consumers can see they will market the open house there and also on Facebook you can just freely walk in there it's free and if it is done by a real estate agent most of the time they will have nice snacks and, and light drinks and things like that for you to enjoy they might even have prizes and and a lot of fun stuff uh, to do I know um, it's a tradition for some people to just spend their Saturday or Sunday afternoon to just walk around and and go to open houses you wonder maybe with COVID are we still having open houses yes we are and most real estate professionals are doing very well at, at being very compliant with all the CDC guidelines to keep everybody safe while enjoying their home tours what should you expect from an open house first of all if you plan on going to different open houses um, you should do your homework first make sure you only go to homes that you you have an interest on it's perfectly okay to just walk around neighborhoods and and look at homes it's okay but if you are a genuine buyer and you're really thinking about buying a house I will do some homework first make sure that uh, you've seen some pictures online maybe you've looked at the neighborhood you have checked some of the basics before uh, you go out and look at the house just to save yourself some time after doing all your homework when you get to the open house be kind to the to the listing agent you should expect them to ask some questions because put yourself in the in the shoes of the sellers they're opening their house to complete strangers they, they at least expect to to get some feedback about how how the house presents and, and things like that so and that's the listings a, listing agent's job to get that information for the seller so please if if you are asked to please provide your kind feedback avoid uh, being harshly critical about the house uh, especially if, if if you are talking to the to the homeowners directly be kind and give them your your honest opinion about what you thought worked or didn't work with the house and check in if it's required because especially with COVID right now you know we want to know who's coming in and out of those houses in case they need to get in touch with you for whatever reason so please make sure you sign in and avoid touching stuff avoid touching stuff avoid going through through um, the seller's personal items if you have kids going to an open house please keep them with you don't let them just running around the house be respectful of the other guests and the, and the homeowner so keep your kids with you and if at all possible don't bring your pets keep your pets at home because you, you never know maybe the homeowners can be sensitive to pets and have allergies not everybody allow pets in the house avoid that discomfort to you and the host and the homeowner by leaving your pets at home or in the car if possible for you to take advantage of the open house as well you can go with your questions make sure to ask a lot of questions and take note about all the small little things that uh, maybe you know notice all the repairs you notice and another tip for you going to an open house if you are really interested in the house it could be giving you an advantage to go, go into the open house to see how much interest the house has and see um, that can help you decide how quickly you need to put an offer on the house if you are interested at all so that can be a good strategy to to know how much 
competition you have in the house. Of course, if you see the house and you like it, you have interest in the house, just get in touch with your real estate agent um, immediately and be honest if you are asked at the open house whether you're working or with an agent or not don't lie just tell them the truth if you are working with somebody or if you have no interest in buying the house it's okay to let them know so this was a little bit about open houses have you been to open houses how do you usually find open houses have you had any interesting experience going to an open house please share that with me in the comments below i would love to hear your your experience in open houses i i just be enjoying the snacks if there is not a lot of attendance i just be eating the snacks myself this is what i had to share with you about open houses i'll probably make this a series and have a few other videos following up um, on open houses and maybe being a look, getting a little bit more into the details about open houses and and talk about open houses in the seller's perspective when you are a seller trying to sell the house what you do know about open houses uh, in the meantime if you have any questions about open houses you already know please leave me a comment below or reach out to me and i'm always open to answer your questions Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Peace out. Bye. Hi. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this content and you would like to see more content just like this one, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you on my next video. Bye.